this is Jalan Jans, aka Night Tracker Girl USA. Um, this is my YouTube. I've been tracking now, uh, since August 18th. So this is uh, a little few months after I get hired in. I started my YouTube, and I have 125, 24,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, um, for following me. But today, guys, I'm gonna show you how, um. To renew your hazmat endorsement or how to get your hazmat endorsement. Well, when I work um, as a company driver um, way back 2018, I had a hazmat. But today, guys, I'm recording this on March 5th, 2023. So um, it definitely changed since 2018 since I had my hazmat. So now we're gonna find out how to get the hazmat endorsement. Let's go to the FMCSA. FM FMCSA. That's not what we're looking for. Um, let's go back. Uh, hazmat. New rule. I'm gonna put new rule for hazmat endorsement. New rules are new. Okay, so this is the new rule. Okay? Hazmat theory requirement and ELDT mandate. As part of the new ELDT requirement that went into effect in February 7, 2022, all drivers seeking in Ohio, hazmat endorsement are required to complete a hazardous material theory training program before testing at a local BMB. Well, um, it's not only for Ohio, guys. It's showing Ohio because that's where I'm from. But it's definitely for the whole United States, okay? So, I actually uh, took my TSA check or the fingerprint test a while ago. When I took my test uh, way back, I can just, you know, after, after you get your hazmat fingerprint, as soon as you got it, and you're clear that you have a good background record, then you can go walk to the testing, um, or you can walk at the local BMV and take the test, the hazmat test, and then if you fail, then you can wait 24 hours and go back and take the test again. Well, what my what happened to mine, um, I didn't pass, and I didn't make it there. Obviously, it is now March, and now I cannot take the test without taking an online course, without taking an ELDT. So I actually found this trucking school in Michigan. It's a Midwest truck driving school. They're also a truck driving school. Um, they've been in business for 25 years. Um, they actually do heavy equipment school also, which is uh, maybe in the near future I will take that. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the course. Um, so the first thing you gotta do is to take the online course and then once you have that online course, they're gonna give you a certificate and then once you have the certificate, you're gonna go to the BMB and you can take the test, okay? So once you pass, then now you can get your hazmat endorsement. Oh, I actually forgot. I think for me, the best thing to do is to get your background check first before you take the test because in the BMB, Way back 2018, the hazmat test result is only good for 30 days. So if your background check does not come back within the 30 days, then you have to take the test again. But I actually call one of this guy in this company. I think this is a pretty awesome company. Um, they said that this online class, um, they're not going to expire. So, okay. But I actually have a question though. I know hazmat is only good for five years or whenever your driver's license expires, that's only when your hazmat endorsement is good for because that's what happened to me. When I first got my CDL, my CDL was only good for two years. So my first two years I had a hazmat and then after that I have to renew and and then my uh, license expired again long story short um, the reason why I have that kind of license is because um, back then I was only a temporary resident of the United States which I only have two years I was only granted 
for two years driver's license so that's why but if you're a citizen or if you have a 10-year green card you can definitely get a five-year license and you can have your hazmat endorsement for five years anyway let's go back to this training school well i found this training school and i know i'm from ohio and this is from michigan but the nice thing about this this training is approved in all 50 states and uh, the training provider registry, it's, a, it's an approved training. It's automatic reporting to the FMCSA training provider registry, which is good. It's printable, printable PDF certificate emailed to you after completion. Training work on all devices and it's mobile friendly. No more waiting in classroom, 24-7 online class. Take it to your convenience. And it's money back guarantee. Don't you just love that, guys? So, guaranteed to pass your hazmat test or your money back. Wow. No time limit. Take as long as you need to finish the course. And this company has been here for 25 years. Wow. So, they have five-star Google review. Anyway, so, our, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill out the form below. And then you're gonna, um, you have some certification. Um, applicants fill out the form below to receive your hazmat certification per the FMCC LDT requirements. If you need a hazardous material endorsement in your CDL and want to take the test at your DMV, this training satisf satisfies the requirement. This training meets the US DOT, TSA, PHMSA and FMC is a curriculum standards for hazmat entry level driver training ELDT and it listed an FMC is a train provider training takes about an hour and have to complete with automatic reporting to your state DMB so applicants please fill out the form below so anyway so I already did this so I uh, fill up my name my email and then you can pay it here you know, it's either with your PayPal or your card. So I already did that. So it's right here to my email. So once you've done everything, this is what you're going to get in your email. Congratulations, you've been granted access to online ELDT hazmat endorsement training by Medwest Truck Driving School. You can log in with your email and password at below. All right. Uh, hmm. I don't know what my password is, well, to be honest. What happened is, I was granted a password, and I couldn't see the password. So what I did, I just, I just went to the website, I put my email, and I put forgot password. And then I got an email um, to, to change my password. And this is what happened. So this is it, guys. This is how it's going to look like. <clears throat> the online class, this is how it's going to look like. All right. So ELDT Hazardous Material Endorsement Training. So... The ELDT Hazardous Material Endorsement Training course is required for any CDA holder needing to get a hazmat endorsement. After completion of this training, you will receive a certificate of completion and be submitted to the training provider registry, thereby re receiving your eligibility. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like they have a lot of courses here, you guys. So they have CDL tanker endorsement. They have CMB air brake training. Um, I guess this is something new also. Before you can take your your uh, permit uh, for your CLP, you got to take the test also. When I took my CDL or when I got my CDL, I didn't have to do this. And I didn't have to do this. I just walked in and took the test. But now I guess you have to do it. Well, I don't need those guys. But if you guys need it, Please take it. Um, all right, let's build a product. All right. Wow, they have some nice website, huh? Okay, ELD Hazardous Materials Hazmat Endorsement Training. 
Alright, start the course. I'm excited. Hold on, let's scan it first. Welcome to the course. Hazardous materials endorsement course. Zero to four lesson com completed. So there's four of them. Alright. Alright, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's take it. Okay. Mm hmm. We do it here. <laughs> oh. So I know there are nine class of hazmat. There's explosive, gas, flammable, flammable, oxidizer. That's what it looks like. I actually like this, you guys, to be honest. When I got my city, my hazmat before, I had few doubts. Few doubts that some of them I did not understand. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I took my test. But today guys all right so i'm gonna mark it as complete next lesson yeah. oh, it's an on uh hello everyone and welcome to the eldt hazardous materials training my name is okay guys so i'm gonna pause this okay i'm just gonna do my training i think this is pretty neat this is a pretty neat course. I'm actually excited. But yeah, it's definitely um definitely nice. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, I'll be right back guys and I'll show you guys how my certificate looks like as soon as I'm done with this course. And guys, uh, so I just finished the part of the class. So now I'm actually gonna go um take my test okay so this is the exam so i can get um my certificate after passing with 80 percent you must complete the tpr required information on the following slide or we will be unable to certify you with the fmc is a good luck all right let's start okay so there's um question one of 40 so there's 40 questioners so i'll be right back guys okay i'm just gonna take the test i'm not gonna tape this for security purposes i'll be right back. almost done with my test i'm gonna see how how i go but i'm not really competent because mm, i feel tired my brain is not working but yeah let's go to the last question you have loaded hazardous materials into a cargo tank what must you do before you move the vehicle have the loading observe the sign Call, call the manholes cover up. Be sure they are free of leaking. Oh, this is a cargo tank. Close all manholes. Let's see. Ah, let's see what's my score, you guys. I don't think I made it. Oh, I did. Oh my God, how did I pass a test? <laughs> all right. I want to see my result. Congratulations, you pass up. Has my final sound. Now you must go to the next. Fine as fit. Oh, okay. Oh, 95? Wow. Oh, there you go. Who do the regulations say is responsible for checking the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked? The answer is. What's the question answer? The carrier. Okay. There's another mistake that I have, I'm sure. Oh. If a shipping contains both hazardous and non hazardous materials, the shipping paper must. My answer is highlight the hazardous materials. Oh, the answer is both to either of the above. Okay. Oh, wow. I answer almost everything correctly. To two mistakes? Okay. So I passed the class to you guys. So what I'm going to do next is mark. It's complete. All right, let's do this. I don't know what's next now. Congratulations, you passed the hazmat fire exam. Now you must go to the next step and fill out the TPR required information so we can verify with you with the FMCSA. Where is it? It's complete. Okay, where do I go? Oh, okay, next lesson. See right here. Great job. Keep going. TPR required information. All right, so click this. Train for orders to record information. Okay, so you must fill out um, the form below to be submitted to a training provider registry. 
after submitting submission you will be subjected to tpr within one business day okay so means i cannot take the test tomorrow yet click the bottom bill to start okay so i gotta put my first name license date of birth okay so this is it tpr required information in one business day Following the completion of the hazmat test, you will receive an email with your certificate of completion to be entered into the training registry and eligible to go to your state TMB to take hazmat knowledge written test. For the check, any other endorsement, they all, oh, I they have like a uh, tanker. Okay, so I'm gonna submit it now. Okay, right. Hey guys, so today's the next day after I took my test. I'm gonna check my email to see if I got the thing here. Ta da! I actually get an email. So I took my test yesterday and it says, Congratulations, you have successfully completed and passed the hazardous materials training course presented by Midwest Truck Driving School. This course is compliant with the FMCSA's ELDT required curriculum as set forth in CFR Part 398. 380 Appendix E. With the successful completion of this course, you can now take your endorsement test at your local Secretary of State or Department of Motor Vehicles. So, yeah, I'm excited. So, I finally got it. Let's check it out, guys. See how it looks like. I'm gonna download it. Should download it. Ta da! Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at my certificate. I like it. <laughs> I like this certificate, you guys. So, um, my stepdaughter actually just got her test also. She did the same thing. She already got a background check and stuff like that. She actually went to the BMB, the local BMB in our area. Um, um, the, the, the guy actually told him, like, asked him, like, when did you take the test? And then the guy said, oh, no, she said, two days ago. And the guy said, well, um, it takes five days to get you to get you um, in the system because it has to be, like, submitted in the system. You know when you first took your CDO? You know the day you pass your CDO? And then, like, as soon as you pass, you go to the, you go to the BMB to get your CDO finally? I believe it's that quick. You know what I'm saying? It don't take five days. Because why I found out is because my stepdaughter ended up driving 40 minutes from from the BMB, which is so close to our house. She ended up driving. And then guess what? They let her take the test. They just checked her. Um, she just gave her CDO. And then they put her name in the system. And then she took the test. So... It's crazy that so the first place she went to, she didn't didn't even ask her driver's license. So the first place she went to, they just said like, "Are you sure you already took the test?" Oh, not not sure. So the first place she went to, the guy said, "It might take five days," without asking her her CDO. So isn't it something? So my advice to you guys: so if you ever go there after you took this test, just Tell them, you know, can you check my name in the system? Don't leave without them checking your your name in the system. I might, might just be in a hurry to punch out, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um. Anyway, so that's it, you guys. I'm so happy. Good luck to you guys. I hope you finally get your CDL. And if you guys want to know how to um, schedule your fingerprint, uh, please check, check the link below. I'm going to put a link below. And you guys, I, before I forget, so if you guys want to um, take the test of this class, this definitely, I definitely recommend this class. This is a nice class. Although it's one hour, but you can definitely listen to it, you know, and over and over, and there's no time limit, and you're guaranteed you're going to pass right away. And you guys are going to have a certificate like me. <laughs> if you guys take it. Oh, if you guys check, check the link below to you guys um 
I'm gonna get a little commission if you guys do it and I really appreciate that guys if you do that but I will definitely take the same class if I have to that's the only thing I would say this is really awesome so that's it you guys that's it you guys thank you so much bye bye